We now move along to the Customer tab. The Customer tab is for you to use when it comes to anything to do with the customer, such as recording a quotation, recording an invoice, receiving a payment from your customer, or sending your customer a statement. When you click on the person's name on the left, you can see his transactions appearing on the right. And it shows you the amount overdue and open balances as well. Let me show you how simple it is to record a new transaction. We go to New Invoice and you select your customer's name. Once you select the customer's name, the address will appear with the invoice details on the right. It even shows you the payment due date based on the payment terms. You then need to select the item you are selling for your customer. For example, I select the A4 notepad and a coffee mug. Once you select these items, it will show us the price, you can indicate the quantity, and it automatically selects the appropriate GST tax code. These are the tax codes we have available for you, which is required by IRAS. If you are not sure which tax code to select, you can click on this icon that says which, and this brings up the online help file of QuickBooks Online, which will explain to you what each of these tax codes should be used for. The online help file is available throughout the system. You can also add a discount over here if you wish. Once you've recorded your sale, you can click Save over here. This is the preview of the invoice. You have your company's letterhead, your address, your company's logo on the left, the tax invoice information on the right, and the details of the items you have sold to your customers. If you scroll down to the bottom, you can see the total of the invoice with the GSC summary as well. The invoice format is customizable from the Preferences menu. All invoices can be set to default, to be printed, or to be sent by email to your customers. So what happens when you record a sale? Your debtors, profit and loss report, and all other sales reports will be updated simultaneously. Let me show you how to generate a statement. When you generate a statement, it acts as a reminder for your customers of how much they should pay you and when it is due. If I do a preview of this person, I not only see the invoice numbers and the payments with the running balance, but it also has an option to show you the details of every invoice you've recorded as well. At the bottom of the statement, you have your aging period of your statement as well. In the Customer tab, you can also record payments that you've received from your customers and you can also record credit notes. This concludes the Customer tab.